I have a slightly different problem. As I understand the situation currently, the vast majority of states use the primary purpose test. You are asking us to change their common law test, I assume, just for purposes of federal law, because um, the federal rule of evidence 501 tells us that um, in any civil case, state law governs privilege regarding a claim or defense for which state law supplies the rule of decision. So how is this going to work? Um, in federal court, we're going to say you p apply this significant, um, significant test, and in state cases, you apply the primary test? Well, let me say two things, Your Honor. One is when you look at the state cases, the state cases cited in the government's brief as examples of primary purpose cases, many of those, they say primary predominant purpose, but then they just look, is there a legal purpose? Take the Spectrum case from New York. It says primary predominant purpose is the test, and then it goes on to say the critical inquiry is whether it was made in order to render legal advice. And well, but focuses. that's the point that Justice Thomas raised, which is how do you know that? If 1%, according to your test, if 1% of the, of the purpose of this communication was to render legal advice, the whole communication is suppressed. That's what you're saying to me. There's no percentage to significant. I'm saying there's, it needs to be bona fide or legitimate. So I'm trying to move away from Well, but I mean, 1% can be. Uh, you know, um, accountants every day give, fill out forms and help you figure out numbers and tell you what to do. And a small percentage is always legal advice. I think that this is that. And you may, it may have a legal consequence. And yet we said accountants didn't have privilege. I don't know why lawyer advice that's predominantly business should be protected simply because you sneak in some minor legal consideration. Your Honor, let me talk to the accountants. Let me but I still want to go back to this point, the one I started with, which is, you're asking us to announce one test for federal cases and let the states do a different test, however they define that. They've never used the words that you're asking us to use. There are a few states that use significant purpose. Texas is one. But, Your Honor, I, I point The vast John. majority the, you, don't. I, I don't disagree with that. I would say in Upjohn, the control group test was widely used in federal and state courts, and after this court decided Upjohn, almost every state has moved to the Upjohn standard. But that's not our business, is it? No. The federal no, rules of a... evidence is not to give our sense of what's appropriate for the attorney-client privilege. We are directed to look at, in light of reason and experience, and so we should be looking at what those state courts are doing, not dictating to them what to do. Well, this court won't bind state courts. I agree with that. And this court does look to reason and experience. And we would say, that in fact, reason and experience support the significant purpose test because the primary purpose test, even when it's recited. When? Tell me, tell me I, I, you, you make this claim that it's so difficult. But I really haven't seen much to say that it's difficult to administer. I don't see a rounding uh, number of courts uh, in states or even federal courts saying, I can't figure this out. This particular judge, I think, was meticulous in separating out documents. As you said, this judge picked out sentences and redacted them. Um, this judge uh, upheld your objections to a number of disclosures based on uh, points that you raise with respect to the legal nature of the communication. So I don't see how judges are having the hard time you're talking about. Your Honor, I'd point to the Polaris case from Minnesota, which was recently decided after the Ninth Circuit's decision here, and it does adopt the primary purpose test. And then you have a majority in a dissent that look at the same investigative report and they come to diametrically opposite views.